Hey guys, it's me, Shondell, the creator of the craft print, and today I bring to you a full craft print, craft room tour. It's about time. I know I took long. I know a few people were asking. I know you're probably wondering, like, who asking you here on YouTube? But it wasn't on YouTube. It was actually on Instagram. But um, I'm really comfortable on Instagram, going live on Instagram. But showing my face and doing these videos for YouTube, a nervous wreck. So I got to get used to it like I am for Instagram. But anyway, I'm going to give you the links to the website where I purchase everything in this craft room. And if you're looking for links for every product, you can go to thecraftprint.com. I created a blog post with all of the links for literally everything down to even my shipping supplies. Um, so like the video if you enjoyed it, share it to someone who loves to see craft room tours, stick around. If you're not subscribed, subscribe to my channel and look forward to a whole lot, like a whole lot. I'm serious this time. I'm going to be uploading regularly from now on a whole lot of craft videos coming up for you guys. Also, before we start, I just want to tell you quick fast that every Thursday on Instagram, I go live at 12, not 12 not 12. I go live at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time teaching you a new craft project and every third day I have a guest crafter so basically a buttload of free crafting classes on Instagram and they're there now like all from last year. I have over 60 crafting classes saved on my um, Instagram page. Obviously I'm babbling. Let's just get to the craft room tour okay. So let's start it up. This is the right side of the craft room. I'm going to do a big span of the entire room and then i'll go through everything one by one and then we get over here and then this is the right side so i'm gonna walk you through everything one by one this was actually supposed to be a living room but i decided to turn it into my craft room so we're going to start over here which is right by my my kitchen you see right here so let's start it off. All right, so that's my TV that I usually watch. You see me in the reflection. This shelf is from Ikea and I keep my papers that I usually print on here with the computer. This is the Epson Workforce 7720, which they don't make anymore, but they make the 7820. I'll have links for all of these. This is an eight foot desk from Ikea. The drawer units are from Ikea as well. The chair is from Amazon garbage can from Ikea. We have my iMac that I usually design and things on um, my MacBook, obviously. I usually just um, move around with that. So I'm literally going to take you out through everything. Junk drawer. Lots of junk. Don't even ask me what half of the things are. More things. See, I'm not exactly organized, but I try to, you know, make it look good from the outside. My Cricut Joy stuff, some pens and markers down here. Um, I have some extra bubble. One of the few things that I do buy from Dollar Tree that I love for my crafting. So I have like a bunch of these in this drawer here. Close that on up and let's go to the other side of the drawer and see what nonsense. Remember, I'll have everything linked. Another junk drawer. These are like jewelry making supplies in here and I haven't touched it forever I bling out my little tape gun the refills to the um, mini sticker maker but I can't find the actual mini sticker maker some cords and gable boxes in here so that really sums it up for this little area here now we're gonna move on to a little machine station, I guess I'll call it. At the top here, this is my halfway done blinged Cricut. So I'm, I'm working on this, just not that often. Uh, this Joy, I chipped off piece because I wanted to peel it and redo it and never did it. We did this live on Instagram in one of my crafting and chatting series. My blinged out Cricut, that took me forever. And the day, little cuties up there too another joy a plain one this cricket i had wrapped in galaxy wrap as you can see at the top there are the easy presses the original mini and now we're going to come down let me just back it up so you guys see exactly how it looks up there nothing fancy the shelves are from home depot 
and the little legs thingies are from Home Depot as well. Now for here. So also these stay on the top only because I made them look a little fancy and they're just cute and sit up there. But the ones that I use the most are these four. So we have the Explore Air 2. This is the Explore 3. And I have two makers there. So I use these on an everyday basis. This is actually a shoe rack from, that needs to clean. It's a shoe rack from Target. So I didn't put the middle piece in them and it was enough to hold the crickets while they're open. On the bottom, I did put the middle in this one. So that's how it originally looks. Down there, I store my 12 by 24 cardstock, 24 inch cardstock and any extra sticker paper, things like that. My bright pad is under there too. And then we're just gonna scroll right on under the desk. Let me show you what down here looks like. This is where I store shipping boxes that I get from Uline. These containers are from Target. Bins, I guess, they're really cute. I think they were $20, I'll link those too. As you can see, it's just storing all of my um, HTV and then my regular vinyl. Those are shipping folders my hat blanks and t-shirt blanks are in that one and some extra material down on the ground the desks are from ikea as well these are two of the smallest size and the legs are purchased separate then here the auto press so depending on the day you're looking at it it's going to be released may 5th 15th i do have a video too you can see uh the unboxing of the auto press this is the bright 360 lamp over here in the corner. Um, I haven't opened these, so I'll have videos on the hat press and the Easy Press Mini. This little wall here is just supplies that I'll be using with these products. Also, I put some bling in these containers. So these containers are all from Ikea. This pegboard is from Ikea as well. All of the supplies are either from Cricut Cricut's website or from Michael's. All of these were Cricut website as well, but I'll have links to everything here. So right here, obviously you see the windows. This is my Ryobi collection glue gun. We have the mini glue gun here. They're just sitting on top of my air conditioner. Um, my drill, uh, the old glue gun, that's messy. The most recent glue gun. This is like a little file, like sander. I don't know what it's called. The little handheld vacuum and all of my extra little bits for the tool. So those just sit on the AC. This basket is actually from Home Depot and I spray painted them gold. Now let me back up and show y'all what's happening over here. This little box light I use when I'm going live. That's an extra light in the back there, also used for lives. So this corner, I would say, is where the work gets done. So the other side is for cutting, but then this side is for actually like assembly and things like that. So I'm going to go through each piece and tell you guys where I got them from. We're going to start with the Glowforge. I have the Glowforge Plus from Glowforge website. I'll link that also. If you're not sure what a Glowforge is, it's basically a laser cutting machine. It can cut acrylic, wood, and a bunch of other materials. I made this with a file that I purchased from a fellow crafter. The desk, again, this is a six foot desk and this is another six foot desk going this way from Ikea. The legs are from Ikea too. This drawer unit from Ikea as well. Under there is my acrylic collection. Let me go down and show you guys. So that is a sideways bookshelf that I have it stored on. Got to improvise sometimes. So let's go through this drawer. I told you I'm going to show y'all everything. I'm going to pull it out because it is on wheels. Another junk drawer, like a little bit of everything. I can't be the only one with more than one junk drawer. Another junk drawer, but maybe a little bit more organized than the others. Uh, this one is all my cello bags that I use for products. The larger cello bags. More. These are um, like all my hole punches, the crimper for the chip bags. These were extra masks that I had left over from a project. Um, some more bling in here as well. 
And then what's in this one? This is my acrylic drunk, junk drawer. So these are mostly the acrylic pieces that I've cut and used and wasted. But that's the acrylic um, junk drawer. And then I'll give you a little... That's the acrylic. These are uh, ones that are just cut. In the back is where we usually put the ones that have not been cut yet. These are just some new ones that came in the mail. So they just stay there. Also, the acrylic I usually order from a few different places. So there's Way Supplies, Blissful Customs, and then here in New York City, Canal Plastics. I'll try to remember to link those. If I didn't, you guys just tell me. Drawer again from Ikea. So over here, as you can see, this is old. It's all dried up, but I still write on it sometimes. That's from Michael's. Here I have this paper organizer thingy from Target. And this is where I keep the most commonly used cardstock. So there's, I have products that sell um, often and really well. And these are the colors that I would use for those. So I try to keep them there. Um, so I did clean up for y'all, right? But there's a lot of projects going on, so I didn't have anywhere to put them. So we're going to like skip over those. In the corner here, this is a button press from scrapbook.com. These are cups that I'll be doing projects with. My faux cake. Someone made that for me, but you guys can find them at decorcentral.com. These are actually real cupcakes that I'm going to take pictures with and then eat even though I shouldn't. Um, more acrylic. So this is what I've been doing on the Glowforge. So more acrylic stuff here. Now this pegboard, this was a big piece that I had cut down in Home Depot. And then the little containers, they're all from uline.com, U-L-I-N-E.com, where I get all of my shipping supplies. These little containers, you get a dozen in a pack, I believe. I'm going to make that too. Also, I'm going to have like basic links because I can't, you know, put a thousand of them in the comments here on YouTube. But on my blog, thecraftprint.com, I'm going to have all of the links there. So this floating shelf, Ikea, boxes from Ikea, I think they are discontinued. I do. The mat right here, this is the largest size I've seen. Fiskars, you get that at Michael's as well. The full cupcakes, Decor Central will have those for you too. I like to use them to put my stuff on and take pictures instead of every time buying real cupcakes and then having to eat them and then have to find a reason to tell people why you gained so much weight when you know it's more than just the cupcakes, but we're not gonna talk about that. The items in here are some of my ready to ship items that I sell on Etsy. I sell the glue gun clock clock. Crock charms, not Clarks. Ain't no charms or no Clarks. Um, glue gun earrings, all the colors. I have to make more, more glue gun earrings all in my Etsy shop. So that's like this little corner right here, right? N nothing perfect. And also this took me a few years to accumulate. I bought pieces little by little by little. Literally last week, I got another set of drawers because I knew I was doing this video and I needed more space to make it look a little better for you guys. So right here, this little wall, I don't have names for these areas, it's just the area. My um, train station sign, I'm going to link the Etsy shop that I purchased that from. The gold rack, Michaels. All of the, the baskets, the hooks, all of the accessories are all from Michaels. Um, my Cricut accessories, same thing, Cricut.com, Michaels, or even Amazon. The list is Michael's as well. Look at my little babies. Look at them. Look, look at my little elves. They stay here all year round. Those are my, my children. Um, this actually came from Target, but then I blinged it out. I have no clue where this came from, but it matched, so I just put some more bling. Scissors. The baskets are from Michael's as well. And then let's go through these drawers. I don't think, remember I told y'all I just bought this one, so it shouldn't, it's not bad at all. So, uh, some thank you flyers, crystal glaze glue. These are actually the glue pens, my favorite glue pens to use on small pieces. Amazon had a full box of them. 
go on sale says and sets. All right, so let's see the next drawer. Uh, this is clear gable boxes, little small clear boxes. Uh, my most commonly used ribbon for my Jordan banners. I have to keep buying these like six, eight, ten at a time sometimes. My katana for bringing. I got a new one because the old one was a mess. More Cricut supplies. The ribbon is from Michaels also. Oh, the clear gable boxes and the little mini clear boxes, Amazon. Here are my accessories for the cuddle bug. These are all the plates. Um, the cuddle bug is discontinued and you don't see a lot of plates everywhere. So you're going to try to look on Amazon, eBay. Some craft stores have them, but I don't really see them in Michaels. Um, also, Facebook Marketplace is a good place to check. Um, so my mold press, which is discontinued too. These are the accessories and the button press accessories here. I have more in a little container somewhere. Um, tapes, I buy in bulk, so I don't have to keep. And this is the ink drawer, sublimation ink, regular ink, just all mixed up in there. So that's that area here. See that? I need some cord organization. It's not perfect, but it's, it's, it's what I like, it's mine. And it took a few years, guys, quite a few years. And now, so this pegboard right here, it's a piece from that one that I got from Home Depot and I had them cut. The frame I found at a flea market and I painted it blue and I think I'm gonna repaint it mint green. Back to the pegboard. And now the peg pieces that are on here are from Home Depot as well. These were the same one from Uline. All of my accessories I get either from Michaels Amazon and, and um, cricket.com. So I have my extra mats, acetate sheet, the weeding multiple, my t-shirt blanks. Then right here, that's my sublimation printer. You can get it on Amazon, I'll link that too. My mug press on Cricut's website. And this is the cuddle bug I was telling you guys that's discontinued that you can do your embossing on. This is the first one I had, and then I had to get this one because it matched. I found it from a buyer on Facebook Marketplace. Also, so this shelf that it's sitting on, that is from Ikea. I'm going to link it to all of the boxes here, Ikea as well. These acrylic drawers from Michaels. See the earrings? I have them cut. I just have to assemble all of them in here. That's what I keep in there. My cardstock storage, I got this from scrapbook.com. This specific one is discontinued, but they do have another one. Hopefully it's not discontinued or sold out. I have about three sets of them. So this is the eight and a half by 11 cardstock. Down here is like the glitter and specialty that I hold in there. And last but not least, let me show y'all in this corner. This is my tufting frame that I made. We just slid it behind the dresser or whatever you call this unit thing and then here is where I keep like my jewelry and mostly jewelry miscellaneous pieces down here so it's a stackable caddy you buy them like one each and they can actually stack I'm trying to show you guys better stack on top of each other you just clip them so they don't move so this piece so you can raise it up and then when you want them to stick together you just close it. So that mainly concludes what my craft room, which is actually really a living room, consists of. There are a lot more stuff, I'll tell you guys that. I do have like seasonal things, extra things when I just shop too much. And I store them in buckets and keep them in my, um, my coat closet. So that's it. This is what I'm standing in the kitchen and backing up for you guys to see. So I don't have like a special specific room for crafting. I just, my phone died. Okay. So I don't have a special specific room for crafting. I just changed my living room into my craft room. And that's it. This is, this is the area. It took me a really long time to get this together. It's not perfect, but it's mine. I even have to get some stuff repaired on the ceiling where we had a leak. So yeah, you know, 
There it is. That is all. That is it. This is my baby. I love it here, though. I do. It took me about maybe six years to accumulate all of this. When I started, this living room was empty with one cricket that I purchased on HSN on a payment plan and just a cheap desk from um, Target. And it took about six years to accumulate all the things that I have here, but I love it. And I hope you guys like it too. So I'm going to have the main website links in the comments. And then on the craftfit.com, I'll have everything linked in the blog post. If you have any questions, drop them down below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe because I'm going to have so much more videos coming up. And again, Instagram. TikTok. Don't forget to follow me on those um, social media platforms as well. Every Thursday, I go live with another crafter and we do free crafting classes on Instagram at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every Thursday. So I hope you enjoyed this and I would love to see you guys craft rooms too.